What do you mean by accounting?
journal entries. You will do journal entries. What do you mean by journal entries? Any idea what it? Debit and credit. So it has debit and credit. For example, for example. So you will purchase you will purchase a pen from the stationery for rupees fifty thousand. This is the transaction. Or you will record the journal entry for this. So the two the two first you have to analyze. So what are those? You are you are taking the stationery. So you are taking a stationery. It might be a pen, pencil, scale, anything. So you are getting a stationery. So you are giving money. So you are cash. paying through cash. So now you will you will pass the journal entries like stationery account to cash. Stationery account debit to cash. Cash account, right? So in this way, you will pass the journal entries with the help of the source documents. The next, what is the procedure after journal entries? Ledger. Ledger. So creating the ledger account. Creating a ledger. Ledger account. What do you mean by ledger account? What do you mean by ledger account? For each and everything, you have to create a separate accounts. So the for the cash you have to prepare a separate account for the purchases you have to create a separate account and the sales you have to create a separate account. After the after creating all the ledgers, so what you will do? So what you will do? Pass journal entries. So already you have passed the journal entries. Then all and you have created the ledger account for each. Then you have to. Trial you have to transfer all the all the balances to the trial balance. So you will transfer all those to the trial balance. Then, then after trial balance, with the help of this trial balance, you will you will do financial statements, right? You will do the financial statements or reports. So now tell me what you mean by financial statements or reports? Profit and loss. Profit and loss. Balance sheet. Then, then stock summary. Stock summary. Cash flow. So cash flow statement. So so with the help of this trial balance, you will prepare the financial statements like profit and loss account, balance sheet, cash flow statement. These are the major reports for the organization. So with the help of this, we will do profit and loss, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. Statements, right? So you got it. What this is called as? So here, from the source document, so you have done the journal entries. With the help of this journal entries, you have created the ledger records. With the help of this ledger records, you have done the trial balance and with the help of this trial balance, you have created the financial statements or the reports. So what does this call it as? Bookkeeping. Bookkeeping. Yes. Any other? It is a process of accounting. Right? It is a process of accounting. This is called as process of accounting. So in a company, in a company, an accountant or a junior accountant who will do the job from source document till the trial balance, we will call it as a bookkeeping. We will call it as a bookkeeping. Yes. So this is the process of accounting, and you got to know what you what you mean by accounting. It is the process of recording. You are going to record the source document, and you have you have, you will do the classification. If it is belongs to the cash, it belongs to the bank, it belongs to the purchases, it belongs to the sales. You will do the classification, and you you will analyze in the uh, journal entries, ledger, like trial balance, all this thing. You will do then you will summarize the day to day business transaction or the financial transaction of a business organization in a systematic manner. Now tell me what you mean by the systematic manner. Systematic manner means it is like order wise, you know, order wise. This is the process. It is a process. So what I have explained, so whatever the financial statement, 
getting the profit and the balance sheet and the cash flow that is called as a stamatic manner. Right? So you have to, so all the expenses you have to do in the debit side itself. All the uh, incomes you have to credit debit side only you have to mention. So this is called as a systematic manner. So in the balance sheet it will come as such liabilities and owner's capitals. All these things called as a systematic manner. So any doubts in this? You have any doubts? Clear? So next. And profit and loss account and the cash flow statement. What is the reason? What is the reason? Company financial position. So only for the company, uh, all this uh, financial reports are required. Or apart from this, any other requ requirements of this financial reports? Income and expenses. Income and expenses. Then shareholders. Shareholders. Yes. So here, so all these financial reports, all these financial reports, which is required for the management. The first, the first step, we will consider management. Why for the management? Why for the management? Why the management required the profit and loss account balance sheet cash flow statement? So final reason. Yes. So, for example, this year they have done some losses. This year they have done sales very less. And the next year, the next year they have to improve. To improve what they have to take? They That's have it. to take the effective decision. So this year we have already made some losses and the next year we should not follow the same. So we have to change to forecast it. To forecast, to forecast the management is required. So the management is required the financial reports. So to, to take to take effective decision to take effective decisions in the company or organization and the next so for whom this is required profit and loss account and balance sheet any other shareholders shareholders so the next is shareholders why the shareholders because shareholders are part of the company. So the shareholders are the part of the company. We have to show them what is the performance. What is the performance of the company? What is the positioning of the company? We have to show them. And also by seeing our profit and loss account and the balance sheet, then only other new shareholders can come to our company, to our organization. They can easily invest. So get, they will get some trust on us. So for this shareholder purpose also, we have to provide the balance sheet reports. So the balance sheet, profit and loss account and the cash, cash flow statement. Next. So financial institution. So you are telling. So financial institution. Institution. So other than financial institution, I can call, call it as a bank. Financial institutions or bank. Bank. Why? Why we have to provide all this thing to them? If you want to take a loan from them. Yes. If the company, if the company wants to take a loan, how they can give the loan blindly? Right? So by seeing the Purchase. position and the performance of the business, then only they can calculate the credit worthiness. The credit worthiness they will get to know by seeing the profit and loss account and the reports of the financial statements, right? The reports after seeing this report, they can avail the loan. So that's the reason we will provide this financial institution, the bank loans. Bank for the loan purpose, we, we can provide the financial reports and the next government. for the government. Yeah, why? So we are doing a legal business and we are paying the tax on time. So for, for this purpose, we have to show our reports to the government and any other. Creditors. Yes, very good. So creditors. Why creditors? What do you mean by creditors here? Because we have been purchased. So purchase the goods on the credit bill. 